Hello everybody, welcome to my next creation. Today I'm going to be working on a commission for a, a lady who is after a giraffe on a vase. And coming from Africa, I must have engraved hundreds of giraffes over the time, but of course being in the UK I don't get so many requests for it, so it's really nice to be asked to do a giraffe. I have already sandblasted um, along the bottom so it's slightly subtle, it's not too shouty um, and it's mum happy 50th birthday which is really sweet and then I have already stuck a picture of a giraffe behind our wonderful transparent medium so once again I can trace all the main details get everything in proportion and just go for it. Now a couple of ways of doing this of course if the glass is too thick or for some reason you can't get into it say for example it's a vase with a very narrow neck or it is a decanter then one would need to draw it onto the glass first um, and you can use a uh, pencil carbon paper you know the black carbon we used to put in typewriters a hundred years ago giving away my age and um, or in this case it is that thick well yeah that is really thick so tracing it through is a bit tricky where you're using two eyes to look into one tiny area with about that much difference between the image and the surface of the glass so what's going to happen is what I need to do to make it work is close one eye so instead of seeing 3D, which is a bit confusing because you've got two eyes and one, <laughs> one picture in the background, so it gets a bit uh, difficult. By closing one eye, you're looking directly one on one. One eye down to the picture with a glass in between and therefore you can trace accurately. And it's not too complicated a, a picture, obviously so because um, otherwise if you're spending hours and hours with one eye closed that can be quite uncomfortable and and I know that in the past when I've done that I have made sure that I have given the other eye a little turn so that it also gets a bit of exercise and the other one gets a rest um, and so <laughs> that's what I'll be doing in this case and it'll be just the main details not even the little, not even the little um, shapes on it yet, because I want to, I want to um, carve into it a little bit, give it a bit of um, 3D intaglio, polish it out because the dark, the background is dark um, with lights, highlights, and shadows, and then in the end I can add uh, the white shapes with a diamond without going deep because they are not lumpy, they are the uh, same level as the skin so um, I'll be going over, fine, the final touches would be to put in the white um, shapes um, I think that's all I need to say about it at the moment so let's get on with it, enjoy! Right, so before we actually get engraving I've got my disposable face mask for any dust that's floating around and I have got my glasses which I will be wearing over the top of the mask. I'll just show you basically, I have shown you before but just in case you missed it, that instead of that because that will fog up the glass. <sighs> it's not going to fog it up just because I wanted to. So on the top of the glass and that helps not fog up, That's, that will be much better um, and of course my headband magnifiers which are great so I don't strain my eyes um, I've got water that will be dripping on the glass mainly for diamonds and that lubricates the diamonds, makes them last longer and also um, enables a nice clean cut on the glass okay let's go right so what I've started doing is 
tracing with a black permanent marker. Very, very fine. Um, because there's still this, this problem, even if you close one eye, when you are looking down on through one eye over here, but then you want to look down through one eye over the other side, there's quite a difference. And unless you are focused initially in the middle without moving too much, you will end up with a very wide giraffe. So what I start by doing is kind of setting the boundaries. And I will look closely at this. We, I've, I've set my eyes focusing in the middle. Then I'm going to close one eye. You've got a dominant eye. One of the eyes that you close will mean that everything will stay the same. If you close the other, the other eye, all of a sudden things will shift. My dominant eye is my left eye. My right eye is the weaker eye. So I am focusing now. I'm, I'm now closing one eye and keeping my head faced in the middle I am focusing with one eye on the edge there and then I have come down drawing the outline here without moving my head and without opening the other eye. That way when you look straight on it's just about flat on the lines. We haven't got a fat giraffe. Um, and this is really important because it's very easy to move your head to um, to trace over something and, and completely distort your animal. I still can't, I can't get for you to see this the, the way I can see it. It's really strange. There we are. There you can see that's pretty pretty spot on. And so now I am going to get my little diamond and engrave the eyes. Just so that we can get the character going. Now, it's going to be difficult while I've got the picture behind you. It's going to be difficult for you to see until I take the picture away. Of course, I've got my light source, which I didn't mention. Of course, that's always very good. A light source above and behind the glass. Right. I'm going to come down, get my head in the way. No. All right. Let's go. I'm working dry with this little, little diamond. Just where I see white. Well, and one eye is closed. go lightly here because it's actually quite dark. And what I need to be doing is is creating the whole shape of the face in depth. But I want to leave these eyes. I just think it's so important to make sure they are in the right place. Again, very difficult for you to see up there. You will see it all much clearer when I take it away. Okay. Just going to whiz around the rest of that shape. Actually, I want to put his tiny little nostrils in. Um, got the remnants of a very, very tiny rat's tail sharpened. 
and I'm just going to put in it's one of these things I might decide to just completely obliterate all that and get the shape right but I'm only really making the areas deep uh, where they are protruding uh, like his hips um, in the background. Right, I'm going to run around with a white arkansas over the... I'm not sure I've got the tail going here. Yes. Just rough. Uh, actually, I can take take this away, quite frankly. So we've got the basics there and then you can see what I'm doing oops well you were able to see what I'm doing <laughs> let's just get a bit of tushy behind that now get the white background behind it so that you can see what's going on really need my head to be transparent so you can see it from the right angle Okay, I'm just going to zoom you out a little bit. The white Arkansas is very soft, so it's only just breaking the surface with a half turn, and it's only giving me an idea where everything is. There's a certain sound that a white Arkansas makes that you know that it's doing a nice smooth cut. Let's just get that going. And you'll see I'm going upwards a lot because going upwards is actually more comfortable for me. You feel like you're in more control. And once again we have this rule that works if you want. Look to where your burr is going to end up and your hand will follow. Okay. There are the basics of Mr. Giraffe. Okay, so here we go. A bit of water dripping. Get the light on here. Very difficult to see once the engraving is wet, of course. And I'm using a large-ish, large diamond-coated burr and trying to use the large burr in the area as possible. You don't want to scribble away with a tiny burr. Um, and then, so basically, this will be in the middle. Now here, the back leg is further in the background, so I'm not going to go very deep for that. I will be blending the edges with smaller burrs. I'm inside the line, so it may look a bit skinny to you, but I'm actually inside the line. As you know, the little hooves and that will be dark as well, so it's just breaking the surface of the glass where I want it engraved. Now, the 
This leg is in the front, so we're going to do that a little bit deeper there. Let's give up some speed, a little bit more speed. Keeping inside my lines. You can always make something fatter, but you can't make it thinner. See how I've gone deeper there and the back leg I am just going to keep very shallow Obviously there's a large area now which I need to smooth out, well, dig out and then smooth out, so I'm going to use a bigger burr for that. Big diamond coated burr.
We want to make that smooth so that the the light will not pick up lumps and bumps. There's one colouring in that you cannot go outside the lines. So if there are any ridges on the edges, we will blend it with smaller burrs. Notice I'm leaving the head to later. will show you where there are ridges that shouldn't be there but all these can be sorted out I'm just going to use this little green stone and I'm working dry This is such a small area and it's really quite an important area. This will carve in but at the same time it's giving me an instant half turn.
Right, so what I'm doing now is calming down by smoothing out and blending the edges of the white. So you can see the difference in colour now because I want the background to be dark. You can see it's a brown with some highlights on it which of course I will um, make sure are there but essentially it is a dark uh, colour in the background. So I'm starting by half turning the diamond work that I've done and then I'll be able to pol polish the darkest parts before I add the white. still with a little green stone by the way I like the little one we can actually use a larger one um, But I find the, the smaller ones are nice and smooth. I do have a larger one. That larger one I may use in the middle. I will carry on doing this. Okay, so now I've gone over very slowly and carefully the whole giraffe with a green stone. And that has made the uh, rough diamond work a lot lot smoother so now I'm going to take my grey rubber and go very roughly over the areas which need to be darker so
Okay. Now, I'm just going to flatten this because I want to go sideways down a thin area of the legs. But I do not want to go over the edges because it is slightly abrasive. And if it goes onto the clear glass, you will be able to see a bloom, and I don't want that. The clear, I want the, obviously the clear glass in the background to be thus. And so, and for the very bottom of the the hoops are very dark but obviously I will use a small rubber for that this is just where the darkest browns are and in actual fact the inside of the legs are quite light which is a little bit confusing for whoops oh that is actually uh, all these things can be changed and moved around lightened and darkened as you need it later on. little heads, haven't they? Apparently the blood pressure is huge to get it up there. Right. Up their necks. Okay. It looks a bit blotchy, but that is the background colour, roughly. As I said, we'll deal, deal with the head later. Right, this is a little brown rubber bullet which obviously is wearing down quite fast, so I'm going to pull it up. Okay, and when your nails fail, get a pair of these out. Just don't get them anywhere near the glass. Okay, it's quite tight, but I've, I've managed to pull it out. Pull it out a little bit more, give it more life. Put the little screw bit on. So, there we go. And as I say, I do sell these little bits and pieces. Okay, just get down there into its little feet. Get them a bit more precise later. There's, uh, I'll probably put some very subtle hint of grass down there. I'm just going to find the one it's just put a bit of darkness in the eye don't worry they look like <laughs> it looks a bit glary but in actual fact I will <laughs> it's just his eyeballs popping out for the moment before I put his eyelids on 
Okay, he's a nice shape and he's nice and smooth. I'm going to use a rubber that I've been selling because I can't get the black rubbers anymore. So they're more of this kind of colour. Not over keen on them, but I see it still does the job. They do the job. Let's see how that just picks up the ridge there.